Ryan Garcia, you good for nothing in the sport of boxing. You come out with four or five days left to your fourth positive PED test. And you say now you want to start your own league that you don't care if you're banned from the sport of boxing. Well, I'll tell you what, Ryan, you and everybody with you need a foot in your ass so you can call it the full of shit league. What if a boxing league? Imagine a boxing league where you could do steroids. That'd be gross. I think they have it's called the enhanced game. No, it's called Pride FC in Japan. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, Pride. That's just nuts. Huh? Pride in the contract said you were allowed to use steroids. Oh shit, I wonder what that and is. That's the only way it's even. Let everyone choose. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Okay, so when it was first reported that Ryan Garcia tested positive for PEDs, Ryan's first reaction was to say that it was all rigged. The whole VADA testing, it was all rigged. But then after that, he says that he's going to submit his B sample, which is an admission he never believed that it was rigged because there would be no reason for you to submit a B sample to the same people that you believe are setting you up. Now, Ryan Garcia is predicting that his B sample is going to come back positive as well. Then he says he's going to create his own league, which basically he's saying he knows that once the B sample comes back positive, he's going to be suspended. Either Ryan Garcia's attorneys told him that this situation is inevitable or he came to that conclusion on his own. If Ryan's B samples come back negative, then that means that is a total of four tests that Ryan Garcia has failed. All the fighters that have tested positive for PEDs, we never heard any of them predict that their B sample is gonna be positive. And it's only gonna get worse from this point on because once that B sample does come back positive, then Ryan Garcia is gonna to have to sit down in front of the New York State Athletic Commission. And he's not gonna be able to just make up stuff like he's doing on the internet when he sits down in front of them. He's gonna to have to explain how the PEDs got in the system, which is gonna be very difficult to explain because it's not as easy as just saying, oh, I took this and it was contaminated. They're gonna want absolute detailed proof. So we'll see how this plays out for Ryan Garcia and how long he will be suspended. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.